Hi, everybody. This is Mark Sterneman with NetLaw. I appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule today to join us for another edition of our Thursday uh, Agent Webinars. Today, we've got a very, very special guest, one of my uh, most favorite people that I get to talk to all the time, Sandra Santillian, and she is going to come on and talk about how NetLaw works for her as an agent. And she's also going to focus today on our special needs trust. And I'll let her explain how she takes that into um, her clients and, you know, shows the value of why a special needs trust is so important for that community. I um, want to just start by, uh, you know, for those who are brand new to NetLaw, or maybe this is the first time you're joining us, I do want to take a little bit of time to talk about, you know, what is NetLaw? NetLaw is an online estate planning uh, firm. And what we do is we help you, the agent, bring estate planning into your clients' lives. And the great thing is this is all a DIY product, so they can do this in the comfort of their own home. Now, how did NetLaw get started? We were formed out of an estate planning law office here in Louisville, Kentucky. And what we did is we wanted to take estate planning nationwide, right? Because, you know, one of the main statistics that we always talk about is 60% of Americans don't have a will and 90% don't have all the documents that they need, a comprehensive estate plan. And those are scary numbers because that is just way too high. So we wanted to work with attorneys in all 50 states to come up with a software that as a client goes through the net law plan, once they're finished, they have state specific legal documents where the template was actually created by an attorney in their state. So when they print it out, they're getting the same exact documents they would get as if they went into a brick and mortar law office, sat there and sat with an attorney to create their documents. The great thing is you can sit in your home and do it on your time for a lot less money. Our software won the James Keen Award uh, for Innovative Excellence. And that award is given out each year uh, to the company that has the best online delivery of legal documents. As of today, we are the only one in estate planning that's ever won that award. So you can think about some of our major competitors like LegalZoom and Legal Shield, Rocket Lawyer, right? large companies, and they're very good companies, very respected, but they focus on a lot of different products. The best thing about NetLaw is we only focus on one thing, estate planning. This is our main product. It's our premium probate avoidance package. And as you can see from the list, this is everything that you get in our $600 package. This package in our law office here in Louisville, Kentucky, ranges anywhere from around $3,500 to $5,000 based on which attorney you speak to. Now, this is our comprehensive estate plan. Remember when I said 90% don't have all of the documents that they need, this is what we're talking about. So, you know, you, you think about all of the documents that you need in your estate plan. Well, first you're gonna need your will, right? Your will, you know, who in your will, who are you gonna name to be the guardian of your minor children? right? Very important. If something happens to both spouses, who's going to raise your kids? We need to list that in our will. Who are we going to leave our assets to, right? We need to list that as well. If we don't, the government will come in and decide for us, and nobody wants that. You know, we want to make sure that our stuff gets the right people of our choosing. And then in the will, we also name an executor. Who's going to be in charge, right? You know, who's, who's going to handle everything? That's your executor. We have the children's trust. So if you have uh, a child under the age of 18, you know, you can, um, instead of them receiving their inheritance all at age 18, you can spread that out a little bit. You know, maybe you give it to them at 21 or 25, or you can spread it out over ages, maybe a third of it at 21, a third of it at 25 and the remainder at 30. You know, it's all up to you. When do you want your children to receive their inheritance? It's a, it's a great way to protect our children, even if we're not there. The financial power of attorney. Of course, we all know what that is, right? Our POA. Who's going to handle our financial decisions if we can't for ourselves? You know, and it doesn't have to be a tragic situation. We're in, we're in the hospital and somebody needs to pay our bills. 
maybe we're just overseas on vacation and you know somebody needs to write a bill out or maybe you're trying to sell your house right the person your financial power of attorney can go in and sign the documents for you remember in our plan we not only take care of your your assets but we also take care of your health care decisions the next three documents all are about your health care decisions health care surrogate just like your financial power of attorney except for your medical decisions right it's your medical poa who's going to speak for you when you can't speak for yourself very very important hipaa authorization works hand in hand with the health care surrogate that document allows someone to see your medical charts and psychotherapy notes if there are any and then the last one the advanced directive it's called a living will in some states and what that simply is is your end of life decisions you know there's two options keep me alive as long as possible or when it's time just let me pass naturally no heroics um, just keep me out of pain but let me pass naturally and you know we choose this document because you know that's a very personal decision right and we don't want to leave that up to the hospital doctors and nurses or, or even your family members right it's a very hard decision uh, when it comes down to it you know the kids shouldn't have to decide whether we need to pull the plug on mom or dad right so that's why we go ahead and we make these decisions so no one else has to we have the pet trust which is great because like i said we're from kentucky so a lot of horse farms here but we really left it in this program for you know your household animal your dog cat rabbit you know maybe you have a horse um, or, or two but you know mainly it's just for your household pets and you can leave some money behind to the person who's going to take ownership of that animal should something happen to you that way it's not a financial burden to them you know you can leave them five ten fifteen thousand and that'll help pay for any vet bills that come up food boarding whatever they need for the pet you can leave that behind so everything's taken care of. And then the big document, right? Our revocable living trust, which is our probate avoidance. The living trust is where we fund all of our major assets into the trust so that when we pass, our beneficiaries don't have to go through the probate process. Probate is where if you don't have a trust, all of your assets are frozen for a certain amount of time. You know, I've seen it from 30 days all the way up to two, three years. And what it does is it freezes all of your assets and that gives creditors time to come in and take what's owed to them first. And then after the probate process is over, then those assets are distributed to your beneficiaries. But to make sure that your beneficiaries receive their assets right away, you simply fund them into the trust. So those are all the documents that you receive in our most popular package. Then I like to say there, there's three comes with because they come with the, with the plan. Our life, uh, our life vault, which is our cloud storage. It has 100 gigabytes of data, so you should never run out of storage space. And this is a great place to store all of your important documents. Uh, you know, of course, your estate planning, but you know, deeds to houses, titles to cars, bank account information, tax information, pictures, videos, anything that you never want to lose, put it into your life vault. That way, for your documents, you have your hard copy. And if you scan it into your vault, now you have a digital copy. That way, everything stays safe and sound. The spouse's plan is included. For $600, both spouses get to complete their full sets of documents, and we have a 30-day money-back guarantee. Try it out. If your clients don't like it, we'll give them their money back. No questions asked as long as they haven't downloaded their documents. If they download their document or even just one document, they have that document that voids the 30 days. And then we have our special needs trust. This is what Sandra's going to talk about. Um, just real quickly, I'll briefly discuss this, and then I want to turn it over to Sandra, who's going to go into more detail. Um, but simply, this is available in all 50 states now. It's an irrevocable special needs trust that comes with execution, administration, and funding instructions, and a trust summary. The special needs trust is $750 alone. Or we have a bundled package, the $600 package that I just went over, and a special needs trust, normally $1,350, but we have that for $1,000. Now, this is a third party special needs trust. So that means that anyone besides the special needs person could put an asset into this trust. That way, the trust now 
owns that asset and not the special needs person as an individual. That way it doesn't affect any of their federal funding. So that's why it's so important. And at a $750 cost, that is very, very affordable. Um, as we know, it is very expensive to raise a special needs child. And um, we're doing everything that we can to make sure that they have the documents that they need. One thing, and the last thing that I will mention is if you are a parent of multiple special needs children, you will need to purchase separate special needs trust for each, each child. So those are all of the documents that we offer. It's a, it's a very comprehensive plan. And now I want to bring on uh, Sandra, who, like I said, very uh, good friend of mine. I want to congratulate her again for getting married. Uh, I think it's been two weeks now. Um, and what was great is, I think it was like the day after she got married, she was texting me all of these pictures of her and, and her, her husband, which was great. It made me feel good. It really shows the, the relationships that we form here at Net Law with our agents. And I don't know if it goes that deep with other uh, partners that you have, but here it, it, it is like a family. When we get to know you and you call in, we're, we're excited to hear from you, right? Whether it's a question that you have or a problem that you have, and I know Sandra will go into all of this, but um, Sandra, let me go ahead and turn it over to you. I know uh, everybody is waiting to hear from you, so please take it away. Thank you so much, Mark, for that awesome int uh, introduction. Um, yes, Mark and I are, are friends. Our, our relationship goes beyond just business. There's something more to that, and that's an awesome way to be able to work with, with people. Um, thank you, everyone. I'm super excited to be the guest speaker today. I appreciate everyone that uh, joined the webinar, and I, I'm really excited about sharing the value that NetLaw has for our community and how we can help these families. I think um, a, a lot of time people don't understand the value that they offer uh, to others. So I hope that th through this presentation, um, everyone will get a better understanding of what an asset they are to their family and friends and, and community in general. Um, because of net law, I have been able to help over 150 families create a legacy for their loved ones. Net law offers an easy and inexpensive way to avoid probate and to put documents in place. My success in that law is due to my passion in assisting and guiding families uh, to create an estate plan. Uh, I get great pleasure knowing that the process brings families peace of mind. So that is the reason behind why I'm so passionate about net law. I think they're just great. The staff is amazing. Uh, Mark, Jennifer, Mary, and, and, and Sherry are all wonderful people that I feel so comfortable um, going to every time I have a question for myself or one of my clients. They're so helpful and friendly. Um, you know, I, I've developed a really good relationship with them over the past four years. I even got to party with Mark in Las Vegas last year, which was great. <laughs> uh, thanks to them um, having, you know, allowing me to be an all-star um, with their company. And every time that um, you know, I have questions or concerns, it's so easy to get a hold of them. Um, they offer a live chat service that you can just you know, log in through your agent uh, account and ask whatever question you may have, concern. Most of the time they're able to address it right there at that moment, but if they're unable to do that, they, they go on and beyond. They'll do the research for you and, and get back to you within you know, 24 hours. So that's, uh, you know, an amazing value asset that we have as agents um, to, you know, to uh, provide to our clients. Um, so the, the main thing I want to, uh, to talk about today is the special needs trust. Um, and, and I want to share a couple of, um, of st stats with you guys that I was able to get through the U.S. Census Bureau. The number one stat I want to uh, share is that one in every 26 American families are raising a child with a disability. Um, also, 88% of parents who have children with special needs have not set up a trust 
to preserve the eligibility for the benefits such as Medicaid and supplemental social, in, uh, uh, social income that their children may be receiving or may be eligible to receive once they become adults. So these two stats, um, you know, show the importance of a special needs trust and how all families with children with special needs should be aware of, you know, the value that a special needs trust offers. So why is it that I personally uh, sell special needs trusts? What's, what's the passion behind me, my why? Well, um, as, a, uh, as parents, we worry about what will happen to our children when we pass away, uh, more so when we have children with special needs. Uh, we wonder if they will grow up to be self-sufficient and be able to provide for themselves. I have three beautiful children. Uh, two are already grown and have a life of their own, but my third child is only 14 years old and has autism. Prior to becoming a financial planner, I was constantly worried about my son's future. I would wonder who would care for him and provide for him financially the day that I would no longer uh, be able to do so. Uh, so as a financial planner, not only did I find answers to these concerns, but was able to share that knowledge with many fam families wondering the same thing. So what is a special needs trust and what are the benefits of having one? A special needs trust is a legal arrangement for individuals with a disability. It provides extra financial support throughout their lifetime while ensuring that they do not lose eligibility for their public benefits, as Mark earlier said. Also, assets in the trust are protected. After the, the person's death, the trust is not required to repay Medicaid, which is Medi-Cal here in California, and the remaining assets of the trust may be uh, dis distributed to another person. So not only are you protecting their, their government benefits, but you're protecting the assets because there's a trustee involved that makes sure that those, those funds aren't misused. And after that person passes, you don't have to worry about um, the government wanting to get repaid for, for the, the Medicaid or the Medi-Cal. Um, it protects, uh, the, it, it, it doesn't allow them to be able to uh, take that money back. And whatever is remaining in the trust, it's, you know, it just gets, um, it gets carried over to someone else. So it, th there's nothing but uh, value in having a special needs trust. The, the special needs trust um, is set up for the, the benefit of the beneficiary, which is the individual with the special needs. And um, the trust can be set up by parents, by par grandparents and by guardians. So it's not just the parents, it could be other family members that set it up for the benefit of, of, that, of that person. Um, some of the examples of what the trust may purchase are uh, schooling, education, vacations, clothes, grooming, transportation, legal services, household expenses. And you can even uh, uh, purchase a funeral and bureau uh, ex uh, insurance for them through these funds. Um, government assistance is in, uh, intended to only provide absolute necessities such as food and shelter. That's why so little uh, money is given. Um, a person receiving SSI can be put at risk by having more than $2,000 in resources under their name. Uh, so in other words, if, um, if a person is receiving uh, SSI or, or Medi-Cal, and they have more than $2,000 in their bank account, they jeopardize losing those benefits. So imagine if a person receives a direct inheritance, it will put all of their benefits at risk. So it is crucial to, be, to have a special needs trust created for this person so that they don't lose these additional uh, benefits. So you may ask, well, how do I sell special needs trust? Um, you pretty much just go into your community. Uh, there's resource centers that offer support for special needs families. Go in there and, you know, talk to the director, um, talk to some parents, 
and just explain to them what it is that you do, how you're passionate about, you know, helping people within the special needs community, um, local support groups for parents of children of special needs. Um, that's another great resource to go to to, you know, uh, locate these families. Pretty much once you've helped one family, you'll be referred to many others. Uh, we special needs parents, we kind of, you know, uh, join together and we advocate. So it's, if you come across one family, that's going to lead you to many other families to be able to help out. Um, and, and one common question that I get all the time is that, you know, um, what if I don't have any assets to leave my child? Uh, what do I do if, if you know, what, what's the value of having a trust if I don't have any assets to give them? Well, one thing you can do is buy life insurance and, and, and fund that trust through life insurance. You don't have to have, you know, a lot of assets um, to be able to do that. There's other means of funding the trust. Um, and, and, and I think that's an excellent way to be able to fund, you know, uh, an insurance, uh, fund a trust through a life insurance, because a lot of these families are, um, are low income families. That's why they're in the position where they can't afford to um, lose their government benefits. So most likely they're going to be very limited with resources. And so that's one great suggestion to give them. If, if, you know, if you don't have any assets, if you don't own a home, if you don't, you know, um, own anything of like major value, then purchase life insurance and let that be the asset that you're going to uh, fund your trust with. Um, so I, I, at this point, I want to um, pretty much leave it open to Q and A. Um, so uh, I don't know, Mark, are there any questions that anyone may have? Yeah, thank you, Sandra. Let's, I know uh, Jennifer has been answering the chats as they've been coming in, um, but I don't see any questions. If you have any questions um, out there, please put them in the Q and A and you have got a special needs expert on the line right now. So this is a great time to take advantage of that. Um, here comes a question, uh, Sandra. Uh, these families usually have Medicaid, Medi-Cal in California. Will buying a life insurance affect their gov government benefits? Absolutely not. If you get a term policy, there is no cash accumulation in there therefore it is not considered an asset so it again it is an awesome way to be able to fund a, a special needs trust through a life policy it does not put um their benefits at risk mm -hmm. perfect perfect answer here's uh, one other question that came in um and it was about Medicaid. Can you can you dive in a little bit more on uh, the Medicaid part and, and how that works? So Medicaid, um, known as Medi-Cal in California, is uh, it's it's medical um, uh, it's a it's a me medical um, source that the government offers um, for people that are considered low income they qualify for free health insurance. And that's what uh, Medi-Cal is. So again, these resources are available to low income families. So um, if, if, in, if that person comes across any, any asset like an inheritance, it automatically will eliminate them being able to get these benefits through the government. So that's why it's so important to have a special needs trust so that you can make the trust the beneficiary and not the individual so that you don't put their benefits at risk. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Um, <clears throat> Pat Barrow, uh, hey Pat. Um, she asked a question on, um, you know, and you've already talked about this a little bit. How do you identify families with special needs? You know, schools, organizations, personal connections, absolutely. Now, one thing, and I'll jump in with my two cents on this, um, is Facebook, right? There are a lot of Facebook families out there that have, you know, special needs Facebook pages. If you could find them, and especially if you could connect with someone that you know, just like Sandra said, if you know one person who has a special needs child, 
they probably know 50 more people. It's just the way it is. It's such a tight knit group. So once you meet one, you know, go ahead and see if they're on a Facebook page and then you can join that, listen and learn in the conversations. And then, you know, a, as you get more familiar with them, offer the special needs trust. Um, it, it's a great way to do it, but you know, obviously you're going to start with the personal, the personal contacts. Who do you know that has a special needs person? I think pretty much all of us know somebody who has a special needs person. Um, and that's a great place to start. But definitely schools, if there's a special needs school in your area, go in and talk to the, the, uh, the principal or whoever's in, in charge there um, and, and set up an appointment and just have a good conversation with them and see if this is something that they would like to offer to their families. Uh, Sandra, anything else before we move on? Um, I noticed that there's a question um, in from Sabrina. Hi, Sabrina. Um, in regards to the life insurance, she's asking if in addition to a term policy, can a permanent policy work as well? And the answer is yes. Um, the only reason I brought up term policy is because, you know, it's, it's the most inexpensive form of uh, insurance and a lot of these families are very limited with their funds. And they want to be able to, you know, fund the trust with as much uh, money as possible. But yes, you can use a permanent policy um, as long as there's no cash accumulation. You don't risk, you know, the the benefits of those um, those individuals. Yeah, perfect. So Haritha has a question: If there is a family with special needs child, how does that work? For the other family, it would be a normal trust and a separate trust needs to be created for just a special needs child. That's exactly right. So for, for the parents, you know, they can create the $600 plan as usual and that will take care of both parents. And then they would purchase a, a separate special needs trust for the child or if there's more than one child, then you, know, you would need to purchase separate special needs trust. But the great thing is when you purchase that $1,000 package, it takes care of the parents and the special needs child all in one plan. So you're only, you know, going through the documents one time. The parents are creating all of their documents and the special needs child is taking care of theirs. So, that, you know, it, it works the same exact way. The, the, the special needs trust is created the same way. You just, you know, log into your net law plan and you answer the questions that the uh, software asks and it builds your plan as you go. So uh, same exact way. Um, let's see. Can we add an asset after a year once the net law is purchased? Absolutely. As long as you have an open and active account, you can add anything to your, your net law plan at any time. That, that's the great thing about net laws. You don't have to keep going to see an attorney every time you have a change to any of your documents. You can just log into your plan, make the change. But remember, anytime that you make the change, you do need to go in and print out your document again and get it witnessed and notarized because you've changed that document. Uh, Mike asked a question. Can you talk about the difference between revocable and irrevocable? Yeah, real easy. Revocable means that you can change the documents at any time. Irrevocable means once you create it, that's the way it is. Now remember, the special needs trust is irrevocable. So once you create it, you can't change it. Um, but the uh, probate avoidance trust is revocable and you can go in and add any asset to that that you want. Um, I'm trying to read through these. A lot of them are the same questions. Um, here's Phyllis. Hey, Phyllis. Um, I was a guest speaker for a Down Syndrome family podcast a few weeks ago. These folks were shocked about this. Sure, sure. I would love to be able to set up webinars to get the word out, or is there a recorded webinar I could use? Yeah, if you wanted to do a webinar, maybe we could jump on a webinar together and record it for, for the different times that you're, you're out or we can look about doing it live. Just uh, reach back out to me, Phyllis, and we'll get something set up. And you know, if Sandra wants to join that, um, she is more than welcome to at any time. 
How does BOGO affect this? Great question. So for the special needs trust, BOGO is in play. You buy a special needs trust for 750, you get two. Uh, or you buy the $1,000 package, you get two, right? One for you and one for another family. And how awesome is this that we get to help out, you know, especially if it's a special needs trust. To be able to give someone a free special needs trust is huge. And Sandra, you can talk about this. I mean, can you imagine how, how grateful these people would be if someone came up and gave them a free uh, special needs trust? Yes, that's that that would be such a blessing to be able to help another family that possibly doesn't, you know, that has limited resources to be able to just say, you know, here, um, here's a gift and protect your family. I, I can't, I can't think of a, a better gift to give someone. Um, also, another advantage right now of getting the two for one with the special needs trust is that a lot of families have more than one special needs child. So not only are now they're getting both plans for the price of one. So I've, I have actually been in situations like that where I'm helping, helping families that have multiple special needs children and they were able to take advantage of the uh, two for one um, that was offered a few months ago. Yeah. Um, here's a question. A living trust must be registered, recorded with the county. Now, once you create your trust with us, you get it witnessed and notarized. That's what makes it a legal document. When you fund the trust, that's when you go down to the county clerk's office and you're going to do, you know, deed transfers, taking the property out of your name and placing it into the, uh, in the name of the trust. So you will create a new deed at the county clerk's office and they will record it for you. Uh, here's one for you, Sandra. Can you repeat the life insurance aspect again on the special needs trust? Okay. So um, when when you come across families that don't really have assets to fund the trust, I always tell them life insurance. It's the most inexpensive way to make sure that, you know, um, if you were to pass away, that there's something there to uh, to help that child um, with with their financial future, so um, it doesn't. It's not just you know a home or bank accounts. It can also be funded through a life insurance policy. Um, when you when you get the policy, you make the trust the beneficiary. Therefore, the funds go into the trust name and not the individual. Um, and and that's how you're able to you know provide those resources for that for that special needs person. Mm -hmm. uh, Cheyenne has a question. Is the $600 package for only one person in a family instead of couples? No. So for the $600 plan, uh, both spouses get to create their uh, set of documents. So one plan covers both people. We're just reading through these. Um, uh, we, we need to record the RLT at the county. You don't need to record the trust at the county, but you will need to do the transfer of the deed at the county clerk's office. Here's one for you, Sandra. Um, it's from Subhabish. I hope I said that right. What has worked for you and what hasn't? I believe they're talking about approaching people with this. So maybe you can talk just a little bit about the approach when you're going to speak to someone for the first time. Um, well, I focus more on the educational aspect of it and not the sales. I don't approach people trying to sell them the trust. I approach them educating them on the importance of the trust. 
and how and the value that that it provides and through that education they pretty much tell me oh okay this is definitely something i need and then at that point they ask me well what's the cost involved so um it it's it's so easy it's so easy to help people with living trust like if they pretty much sell themselves themselves because like Mark earlier said, 60% of families don't have a trust in place and they've heard of, of a living trust, but they don't understand what it entails, what it does. Um, so if somebody just takes the time to explain to them in detail, the value that it brings, it just sells itself. And you know, I think it's probably a very easy conversation to start up with because I think with most special needs family, they know they need this. Um, but the thought of having to go to an attorney and get this and paying three, four, five thousand dollars for it may be just too far out of their reach. So I think once the education begins and, and then the price comes out, uh, you know, Sandra, you can speak on this. If, you know, I think seven hundred and fifty dollars is very affordable, correct? Yes, and, and I, I'm now going to share something. So when I um, did my revocable living trust through NetLaw um, about three years ago, at that time, they, you know, the special needs trust wasn't offered. And, and um, Mark will, will let you know that I was constantly grilling him on it. Like, Mark, we need to get a special needs trust, you know, on your platform. And we have to, and we have to. And eventually it happened. But by the time it happened, I had, you know, already created my uh, revocable living trust through net law. And I wanted to make sure that I also had some special needs provisions um, within my trust for, for my son. So I went to one of the referring attorneys um, that net law has and for him just to make an amendment to uh, make, you know, um, make provisions for my special needs child, they charge me a flat $1,000. So net law is offering such an awesome deal with their special needs trust. This was a thousand dollars just to create an amendment within my trust. So, you know, it's so easy. Just tell people, Google what the average cost of a special needs trust is. They're usually more than a revocable living trust. So if they just do that, they're going to see for themselves that they're getting an awesome deal by going through net law. Thank you, Sandy. Uh, Maravi has a question about you know, what package is good for kids that just started working? No responsibilities. Would it be the student package that we offer? You know, that's a good, it's a good starter package. I always say that the starter packages are developed for the 18, 19 year olds that don't have a lot of assets to their name. But with BOGO, that kind of changes the conversation because if you haven't bought your plan yet, buy it and then give your child the BOGO plan, right? It's free. And then that way they have all the uh, documents that they're going to need for the rest of their life. So if you start out with the student package, you can always upgrade later. But, you know, you don't want them to have to worry about that because are they really going to go in and do that? So with the, with the BOGO, if you as an agent don't already have your plan, I highly suggest buying that. It's gonna take care of your family. And with the BOGO, you can, you know, maybe give it to, you know, like, like this situation where the child just turned 18 or 19 is going off into the workforce. Perfect time, right? So either option is good, but if you can get them the best option, absolutely do that. And I'll, I'll never get tired of saying, as an agent, buy the plan yourself. Once you go through it, and you see how easy it is to create these documents, it's gonna be a lot easier for you to sell because you have that experience. And you know, a lot of people are gonna ask you, hey, do you have this for yourself? You can tell them, absolutely I do. Absolutely I do. Um, here's one for Sandra. Is there a pattern that you are seeing in the field? Like what kind of income? ethnicity, age, et cetera. Yeah, uh, special needs does not discriminate. <laughs> There's special needs in every race, every part of the country. Um, and, and in terms of a, revo uh, a revocable living trust, 
same thing. 60% of Americans don't have a trust um, because of the fact that I'm in Southern California in the majority um, or, you know, the Latino community I, and I'm a Spanish speaker. Um, I would say 80% of the families that I help, you know, create a, a trust for are Spanish speaking, but I think that's more based on the area that I live in. But I'm going to say that there's really, you can't, you can't pinpoint it to a certain ethnicity. Like it's, it's everywhere. Everyone needs one, uh, a trust. Yeah, that's a great point. I mean, you, you hit it on the nose. 60% of Americans don't have a will. So that means 40% do. 60% is a whole lot of people over the age of 18 in America, right? That is a very big number. And, you know, odds are that you, go up to someone that you know and ask them if they have their will, no matter, you know, no matter what ethnicity they are, most likely they're going to say no. And even if they do have it, when's the last time they looked at it? When's the last time they've updated it? Have they had it for 10 years? You know, that probably needs to be updated. This is a great way to get back into your client's life. Even if they say they have a will, don't stop the conversation you know, ask those further questions. Great. When's the last time you looked at it? Have you updated it in a while? Does it need to be updated? I can help you with that. I've also come across families where they have their last will and testament, but they don't understand that that's not going to uh, protect, uh, you know, uh, protect their larger assets from going into probate. So just because you have a last will and testament, you know, that serves one purpose, but the, uh, re the living trust serves a different purpose. And, and, you know, going even further, a power of attorney, the, the de uh, general durable power of attorney and the medical documents, th they're so essential also. So no matter what they tell me, I tell them that, you know, well, you still don't have this and you don't have that. So one way or another, you know, they're not, they're not going to have this, all these documents unless they sat down with an attorney and most people haven't done that. Right. Okay. I am not seeing any further questions. It looks like either Jennifer has asked, answered them or I went through here and haven't seen any questions that haven't been asked. Um, oh, okay, here's one from uh, Trevina. So, have you went over on what are the next steps after you notarize all the documents, like registering the revocable trust, adding bank accounts? Yeah, we talked about that, uh, Trevina. Um, you know, it's just funding the uh, trust. And in the vault, when you are done creating all of your documents, the one thing that we've added into the vault automatically are funding instructions. So it talks about how to add the property into the trust, how to add cars, bank accounts, life insurance, 401ks, if you want to do all of that. Um, it talks about how to do each individual asset and how to fund it into the trust. So take a look at that. All right, guys, I am not seeing any more questions. Uh, this was a wonderful webinar. I appreciate Sandra so much for coming on and sharing her expertise in the special needs field. Um, it's not often that I get someone with this much experience in it. So I cannot thank her enough for coming on and spending some time with us today. Sandra, thank you so much for, for joining us. And is there anything that you want to say before we end this meeting? Thank you, Mark. Well, first of all, I want to say thank you to you and the entire staff for just being so amazing. And I just, again, I, I want to encourage people to take advantage of this resource to go out to their friends and families and communities and, and offer this because it's something so important to have in place, not just the special needs trust, but the revocable living trust. Um, and you know, they, we're we're in we we're agents, we're representatives, and we gotta take advantage of that and understand the value that we have that we offer our community and and put it to work. Yeah, exactly. I couldn't have said it better. Okay, well, thank you everybody for joining us.
and we will have another um, speaker next Thursday at noon Eastern, 9 Pacific. Um, and we will have another amazing topic to talk about. So I hope that everyone can join me next week. Um, if you have any other questions, please email us um, and let us know what we can do for you. The last thing that I want to talk about um, is our promotion that's going on this month. And there's actually two promotions going on. One is our BOGO, of course, so buy one, get one free. But the, the big promotion is, as an agent, if you sell five fully funded plans this month, next month, not only do you get BOGO, you get buy one, get two free for your clients. Now, you can imagine how many people you can help out in the special needs community with buy one, get two free, right? Three trust for the price of one. This is an amazing deal. And we don't do this promotion very often. We've done it once in the past, I believe. So if you're an agent, if you can sell five plans this month, and remember, those five plans still get the BOGO. But you sell five fully funded plans this month, next month, your clients get buy one, get two free. This is an amazing offer. So I hope everyone can take advantage of this offer. And it is a really, really good selling point, right? Buy one, get two free. Not only can they help themselves, they can help their family members, friends, someone in the special needs community, whoever they need to help. If you need us, you can always get a hold of us. That's our phone number. And at the bottom is our email address. We're open 8.30 a.m. to 8.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. So give us a call. Let us know any questions that you have. If you had any questions that weren't answered on this webinar, email us um, or give us a call. Uh, or if maybe you just didn't have time to answer a question, you know, let us know what they are. We're here to work with you and it will be great to hear from everybody. So again, thank you, Sandra, for an amazing webinar. And we will see all of you hopefully next week, uh, next Thursday at noon Eastern. Thank you so much, and I appreciate everyone for joining us. Have a great rest of your day.